squared plus 12 squared equals c squared a squared plus 144 equals 256 subtract 144 and you get 112 take the square root now in this case it's just we're in the nearest 10 so we're just going to put that in our calculator and we get 10.6 right over here we want to leave it in simplest radical form so c remember c is always across from my hypotenuse so this is going to be 4 squared a squared plus b squared equals c squared so this is 16 plus 64 equals c squared 80 equals c squared take the square root the largest perfect square to go into 80 is 16 times 5 square root of 16 is 4 radical 5 all right and again if you are having trouble with the radicals go back to unit 12 probably 12.1 is good enough um, of the uh, algebra. All right, so we have special right triangles. This one is a 30, 60, 90. I like to draw my similar figure. So across from 30 is one, across from the 90 is two, and across from the 60 is radical three. I like to start with what I know. So six is the same as radical three, as x is two, one. Now x divided by 1 is just x, and so I have to rationalize this, multiply top and bottom by radical 3. So that is now 6 radical 3 over 3. 6 goes into 3, or 3 goes into 6 twice. So x is 2 radical 3. Alright? Now we know that this is always double this side, and since I know this is 2 radical 3, this is double that. So y is 4 radical 3. You could have also set up a proportion. I just think that at some point you need to see these little things, and it's going to help you quite a bit. All right, A and B are the same, so it's 1, 1, radical 2. Radical 2 is always across from 90, so 6 over radical 2, same as A over 1. Again, I need to rationalize radical 2 on top and bottom. 6 radical 2 over 2 is the same as 3 radical 2, all right? And that is A, and it's also B because it's a uh, isosceles triangle. All right, now we're going to do some trig, some so katoa. All right. So let's see here. I have an angle here opposite that, and then this is adjacent. So opposite over adjacent is tangent. So tangent 53 equals opposite over adjacent. Now remember, I could multiply this out, divide. The shortcut is just to switch them. So y equals 6 divided by tangent 53. All right, and 6 divided by tangent 53, y equals 4.5. All right. Go and find x. Now it is, uh, let's say I could use opposite over hypotenuse. So that's sine. So sine 53 equals opposite over hypotenuse. So x equals 6 divided by sine of 53. And when you plug that in, you should get 7.5. All right. Over here, we need to find these degrees. All right. So we can find them really any way we want. Let's use tangent. Tangent of x equals opposite over adjacent. So the inverse tangent of 12 over nine equals X. And if you do that, you're gonna get 53 degrees. All right, likewise, let's do with Y. Uh, let's use cosine. So cosine is gonna be adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine Y equals adjacent over hypotenuse. All right, so inverse cosine of 12 divided by 15 equals y and so y is going to be 37 degrees what is the angle of depression between a woman in a hot air balloon so here's a woman in the hot air balloon all right uh, that is 70 feet off the ground so this is 70 and a friend that is 45 feet from being below, directly below her. So this is 70, this is 45. Now we need to remember that 
angle of depression is actually this angle, and that's all right. We just need to make some adjustments. So this is 45, this is 70, so opposite over adjacent. So inverse tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent, all right? And then we take that and we get uh, theta equals about 57 degrees. All right. There you go. I hope you uh, ace the test the first time. Don't be afraid to check your answers and get help. Just take it the first time and, and pass it the first time. All right. Here's a little uh, Lady Gaga, the alternate version to help you remember Sokotoa. I want to find the sine of this here angle C. Sine is the opposite over the HYP. I love it. Now let's find the cosine to work out the next part. Adjacent over HYP. Now that's the way to start. So, oh, gato. Oh, oh, oh. Well, let's get the sign. Take H into O. So, oh, gato. Oh, oh, oh. Well, let's get the cos. Take H into A. Get the tan, get the tan, now get the tan up, angle C. We are all in love with math. Get the tan, get the tan, now get the tan up, angle C. We are all in love with math. T -t 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 tangent is o, o over A, ma 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 math. T -t 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 tangent is o, o over A, ma 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 math.